so today is December 22nd and a ton of snow fell overnight you'll see as I go outside it's cold and I thought I might as well do my annual video and videotape what it's like to plow a driveway on an acreage um, now last time I did this video it was quite popular uh, I'm not sure why I think people who live in southern climates don't see snow and so appreciate the uh, the point of view of what it's like to plow snow and I got a lot of comments last time telling me I can be more efficient in how I plow and I absolutely understand that I can be more efficient but not everything in life is about being more efficient sometimes it's about just enjoying and I actually enjoy plowing my driveway so I don't need to do it in a rush I do it the way I like it Wow, just to put it into context, Karen came out this morning to plow for the dogs. So that's how much fell. Wow. Holy. the quad will get out of there <laughs> 25 centimeters Evan and I want to go hiking next month and this is the kind of overnight snow that would be dangerous you wake up in a tent that got hit by a foot of snow you're in deep trouble better gloves. She struggled. That's deep. It's going to be multiple passes. Wow. 
so much snow, a car, even, even my truck might not get out right now if it had to in an emergency. in the driveway. nuts this is absolutely nuts Yeah, when it's like this, you, the, the, too much snow spills over, so you gotta make multiple passes to pick up the spill. Watch out, Zika. yours or mine I have no idea where the barriers are it's insane
grasses just to clean it up and it's gonna fall all day. I'm gonna have to clean up again tonight. Cool. All right. Just so everybody knows, I've actually been out here for about two hours. Let me show you what ends up happening. I don't know if you can tell, but look at the snow banks. I'll try and maybe put them in perspective, but. So the snow gets so, I have to push the snow, lift the blade and push the snow out because with the blade contacting the cement, I can't go, I can't push too far. It starts to weigh, you know, hundreds of pounds. So I have to go higher and push it and then push it down that way. But I have to push it as far back from the driveway as possible because this is only the beginning of winter. And as winter progresses, the snow banks will get so high, it'll be unmanageable. Look at these snow banks. The city, the, the, the country plow has been down the road already, but you can see my entrance comes out and I have to push my snow there. When the plow, when the country plow comes down here, he's going to push a bank and then he's going to put a big snow bank in front of my driveway. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you know what? It was, it, it was difficult to do. Uh, it was very cold. I kept losing uh, batteries, so I decided after a while, forget it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a, a live vid or a real time video. It would have lasted about two hours. It honestly took me almost two hours to plow the driveway, and then after that, the neighbor called me because he has a smaller ATV than mine, and he was having a hard time. So I went over there and helped him. So I spent about three hours outside, and uh, I'm gonna have to do it again later this evening. But you get a you get a feel for it. It's it's tough living on an acreage when you get these big giant snowstorm. Uh, overnight we had about a foot and a half in flat areas, but with the landscape and the geography and trees like that, sometimes you get uh, wind drifts and you get snow drifts, and then you will get areas that will have two three feet. So it's a challenge, but uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I enjoy plowing my driveway. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, Merry Christmas, folks, and we'll see you soon.